Hey guys, it's Maddie. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a hygiene routine, how to stay clean and smell good all day long. So if you guys already come on with me, let's just get right into this video. Bag full of stuff. Okay, it's leaking. Um, I'm gonna break this up into sections. So first we're gonna start off with oral care. like. You feel me? So, so first things first, if you want a really good teeth whitener, I suggest this one. It's Panboo. It's a teeth whitening pen. You can like go to sleep with this one and stuff. It looks like this. Um, and I got it off of Amazon for Christmas. So, um, yeah. Next three things that I have. Next three things that I have is a toothbrush because you need to brush those buckies. You feel me? Um, this is the. Sorry. This is the toothpaste that I use. It's the Scope Crest Plus Premium. I've used this for years and I love it. And I need more of this, but this is just mouthwash mouth rinse whatever you want to call it this will have your breath this will have your breath smelling like this combination will have your breath smelling really good for hours on end next we have facial and hand care okay so this is the soap that i use for my hands it's from Bath and Body Works. It's cranberry orange seltzer. It's a gentle and clean foaming hand soap. So this is what I use. And I get different scents, but I use the foaming hand soap every single time. And then for facial care, this is what I use to wash my face. It's just a Cetaphil facial wash. It's really good for, it kind of dries out your skin, but after you put on the stuff that I'm going to tell you guys to put on, it'll all be like rejuvenated and better. I use to take off my makeup. I use the one with, it's micellar water by Gardner Skin Active, but it's all in one. It removes waterproof mascara, cleanses, and soothes. So I use this first and then I'll go in with that. And then after I wash my face, if you follow me on TikTok, you know these steps. But I use one of these like scrubby dubby things. And they work really well. They get all white heads and like everything just removed. So then after I'm done with my facial routine, I'll put some of this. It's a Cetaphil moisturizing lotion. And then before I do my makeup, I put this CeraVe stuff on. If you've watched one of my new um videos then you know and i mix a little vaseline this just happens to have cocoa butter in it which is really good for healing process or whatever i use this moisturizer i was gifted this so this is not something that i'm going to continue to use for forever but i really love this stuff it's the glam glow moisture trip omega rich moisturizer and it looks like this it smells pretty heavy but yeah then i go in with 70 percent alcohol not by your eyes but it makes your skin so much clearer and also taking these goalie gummies these apple cider vinegar ones they will make your face clear now we're gonna go into like hair care so i use this to massage my scalp especially after dyeing my hair but if I feel like I just need, like, my hair's really dandruffy or, like, on the last couple wash days or if I have gel in my hair, I'll use one of these. And I think I got this from Shein. And then this is my shampoo and my conditioner. I don't have really picky hair, so I like this, but it does kind of leave, like, a waxy film on it um, that I don't like because then it looks like your hair is greasy when it's not, like, you just washed it, you feel me? But it does leave a shine to it. Let me talk about some products that I use. So I use curl cream sometimes. 
but the curl cream that I do use is the Garnier Frixies kind. It looks like that. But then I love this coconut oil. You can get it. It's nourishing plus coconut oil. It's almost gone. As you can see, I need more of that. Um, this is what I use before I straighten or curl my hair. I need to get better with this because I'm curling and straightening my hair a lot and not putting this on. But that's why Garnier Fruit Seas. And then I have this Bright and Shine Glossy Spray with Argan Oil. So I use this while my hair is wet. Now let's move on to like body hair. So like when I'm washing my body, I'll use this and I'll forever use this. I love this scent. I love Dove, whatever. So I'll use this. If I use this, which I have the matching spray and lotion, this will get you smelling good all day. And that's the strawberry snowflakes kind. And then this is very controversial, but yes, I do use Vagisil just because again, it works for me. You need to clean that area. Some people just say use water, but I say use this. And then to get hair removal, I use NADS. If you want to watch my shaving routine, then go to that. It has like 200,000 plus views. But I use NADS. It's like Nair, but for men. And it's way more sensitive. I've never one time got a burn from this under my arms. But then I also use my mom's electric razor. So that's how I get my hair removed. And then for a sugar scrub, because we all need a sugar scrub, this one I feel like isn't too rough or too not rough on your skin. I feel like it's just right, and I use an exfoliating glove with this. This is in the scent Shea Sugar Scrub. Oh, Coca Colita. But I use this a lot of the times. You feel me? So, but um, I have another one in there. It's like strawberry something. But I'm probably about to get another one of these. This one smells like coconut, so I love that. And then I do use a loofah. That's very controversial as well, but I do use a loofah. And with a rag, um, just especially under my arms and down there. Yeah, and then this is the deodorant I use. I need more of it, but this is what I use. What else? I love this. You can buy this at Dollar Tree for $1.25. It's by Dove. Um, baby oil is really good for like stuff. I have some of that right here actually. And then like I said, I have the spray of the um, strawberry snowflakes and the lotion.